Uh, this is from an anonymous lady. She said, hi, Lids, need some serious advice. I'm newly single, so of course I'm back on the shagging wagon. I recently went out with a few friends and it was clear one of the lads there who joined along really liked me. Me, being extremely drunk towards the end of the night, agreed to go home with him, mainly so I didn't have to pay for a taxi. And I ended up sleeping with him. I woke Banging up th- for roof, it's I, called. I woke up the next morning knowing full well what had happened, but maybe that's what happened with the lesbians. Maybe. They didn't have taxi fare. Maybe. There you go. Fucking hell, lad. I'm, I'm actually gay, but I also live in Heighton. Um, <laughs> Adam shags homeless lesbians. <laughs> Dot com. Put that on the poster. <laughs> <laughs> I woke up the next morning knowing full well what had happened, but regretted everything. He was in utter awe of me and basically told me he wants to wife me up. He has now asked me on a date, which I've stupidly agreed to because I feel too awful to say no. How do I let the boy down easily without losing my friends and not making this whole situation awkward this as fuck? This is perfect. Please help her get out. P.S. He's a fucking munter. Oh, no. <laughs> She's got the neck as well. Um, here's what you do. You go on the date and you just make yourself as unattractive as possible. You just act like a cunt. You're rude to the waiting staff. You are rude to him. You've got bad table manners. You stink. Fart. You know? Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't get a wash. Like, what? ask him what his political opinions are. Just say you've got the opposite, even if you haven't. And just interrupt interrupt him constantly yeah ask him a question and then as he starts on to go yeah, 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 yeah and then tell him a really boring story about you so what are your political views yeah 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 yeah, yeah. boring yeah, I went for a walk last week it was cold and then if he still loves you i'd i'd marry him up because he's in you're gonna tell get him a tell partner. him that like imagine everything you could be bad in a relationship tell him you like that just be like yeah you know i've cheated on everyone i've ever been with i can't see that stopping anytime soon i just love getting fucked Especially when it feels like a betrayal. So that's me. <laughs> just tell them the truth. Get an eight inch dildo and just halfway through go, look, this dinner's going dead nice. But before we start, start fucking yourself in the before, restaurant. Before we start the mains, just whap it down and go, listen, I want to use that on you later. So are we doing pudding? <laughs> there you go. Is that more embarrassing than just saying, oh, I shagged you for the bed? Carl, you got to think outside the box here. Yeah. Uh. Yep, Carl. <laughs> yeah, it is, it is more embarrassing, isn't it? <laughs> Next question. Nah, just be like, listen, lad. Uh, I'm not into you, but you know, I'll shag you if you let me stay in yours, whatever. And then just. Like, She's not homeless, Carl. She just. <laughs> she just. She just wanted a taxi. She just didn't have money for a taxi. You've got. Oh. Yeah, she's on the streets. She's been on the streets five years. She's probably into a piss. She's piss fetish. She hasn't got a toilet. I think she just wanted to get home. Oh, ah, it's been done before, ran it. It's yeah. not the end of the it world. Have you ever banged yeah. for roof? What? Have you ever banged for roof? Shouldn't it be bored? Banged for roof. Oh, so to have a roof above yeah. you. Um, I don't think it works as easily for lads. Oh, God. Ah, I just haven't got taxi. Some fare. people call it danger traveling. Right. Don't they, Will? They call it danger traveling. Oof. So you just like, it's people who have no fixed abode and they just go out every night backing themselves to pull. Right. She isn't homeless, though. Uh, I yeah, but this, I, that, this one, I'm, oh, I'm moving the conversation on. Yeah, I don't think this is something that lads get to do very often. You've got to be a pretty good-looking, charming, homeless guy. Yeah, so do I. Yeah. Right? A mate, a mate of mine is about to not have a fixed abode. A mate of yours? Yeah. Is he? It's not a comedian. It's wow. someone else, but you do know them. He's it's more a mate of mine, but you know them. It's dynamo. God, that's high pressure on getting laid, isn't it? He just backs himself. Thinks he's an absolute Lothario. It's either getting laid or sleeping in like a the doorway of Woolworths. Yeah. In the 80s. In the you, 80s. You have always yeah. got the option, Shagging obviously, for time of getting a hotel if you fail. But they back themselves early on in the night. To... That sounds absolutely grim. Does it though? Yeah. Yeah, when you're walking around with your wallet, a phone and a toothbrush. Fucking horrible. Just don't take the toothbrush. Or put it in your pocket. Uh, just, <laughs> if you don't want to go on a date with someone, just be honest. You know what the the best line ever is? I'm just not feeling it. Bang. What can they do? It's done. You're Tell fine. Tell you just found out you've got HIV. Oh. Or do that. Yeah, That's yeah, more yeah, of yeah, a yeah. foolproof plan. Then they break up with you and you can feel sad. And then you can get back to Go the Go on Ancestry.com and find a way to link yourselves and say, oh, I can't shag my cousin. Oh, look at that. Oh, dear. William the Conqueror. We're both related to him. <laughs> Right, yeah. Well, if you want to go back 29 generations and be related. <laughs> Do you know most people are related to Genghis Khan? What? Most people are related to Genghis Khan. Most. You like, look like you relate to Genghis Khan. Genghis Khan. <laughs> I was just Genghis I was Khan trying to neg- is probably, like, 
it was probably a common ancestor of both me and you. Really? Like I'm not even joking. Yeah. When's uh when's Genghis Khan knocking about like 800 AD? How many babies did Genghis Khan have? He had hundreds of children. He had at least four official sons, five daughters to his primary wife, Borte. Yeah, She's but, fucking Brazilian. Yeah, but how have I got? How have you got bloodline from the Mongol Empire? Uh, five hundred secondary wives. So if he's potting five hundred wives and having ten kids on average, there you go. The seed has been spread. Yeah, most people are related to him. Uh, They're all cousins. So you might as well shag your first cousin because even if you shag <laughs> someone off the street, Genghis Khan's your uncle anyway. <laughs>